with our champion, Martin Van Riel, who will be going to his third Olympic Games coming up, and I don't think has ever lost a long-distance race. Is that five in a row now for you? Yeah, it's five for five, but it's it's getting closer and closer, so uh, I don't know how long I can keep this streak going because the boys are very, very strong. So in that run, three of you together, were, it seemed like a little bit of a chess game. Did you each person try to surge and get away from at some point? Uh, yeah, except for me, to be honest. Uh, I kind of backed my sprint, but also just because I, I couldn't, like, um, Kyle had a really good start. I had a really bad transition, and I overdid myself a little bit because I knew that he was the one that I wouldn't want to let go. Right. And uh, basically, I, I kind of had to hang on and until the last two, 300 meters, uh, and then I dig, like, really, really deep to, to take it. And when you, did you know you had it? When you came, because it was, it was almost like a, a photo finish. On the line, I knew I had it, but like in the last, uh, the last straight, it was like three times or something that, that I was like, oh, I have it, I have it, I have it. And then, oh, Kyle has it. Like we were just neck and neck and like was was crazy even to be part of it. Third Olympic Games, you've been sixth and fourth in the Olympics. Fourth is like the worst position, right? One spot off the podium. What? You, obviously, you're going well. What are the goals for this year's Olympics? I mean, it's it's just one last shot, you know. Like uh, there's a, there's a new generation there of very very fast runners, but yeah, I mean, I'm going all in for a podium. Uh, I have the sixth, I have the fourth. I, I want a podium. Uh, it's not gonna be easy, but it's it's one last shot, and I'm gonna I'm gonna prepare for it now, and we'll see what happens. Will you do London, or you'll be focusing on the Olympics from here on out? Yeah, London is just like two or three days before the individual uh, event in Paris, so I, I unfortunately can't do London. Uh, but then after the games, like the focus switches again to T100, and uh, I have now a, a very good score on the board already. So uh, yeah, I'm stoked for that. Love it. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Not often you see a sprint distance, a sprint finish at the end of something like this. So Kyle, take us through the run because it seemed like a little bit of a chess game. Yeah, it was a super tactical running race. Um, yeah, with obviously when Martin and Enrico closed the gap to me, you know, I, we were the three. Yes, we were the three best runners in the race, and we all tried our part. We all tried to break each other, and nothing happened. And yeah, I guess we were pretty stalemate there for a while. And yeah, I knew with 4K to go that it was probably going to come down to a sprint finish. We were running actually pretty slowly, like we were sort of pedestrian pace for 3K, and then it really kicked off with a K to go. And yeah, I honestly I thought I was going to vomit with about 600 meters to go, so just had to hold that down and yeah, just wait until I got across the finish line. But yeah, look. Uh, I put everything I could into that, put everything I could into the sprint finish, and the better guy won. Well, a good guy just made his third Olympic team, exactly. so he's, he's got some speed. And then the other guy's what, 22, 23 years old? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, it was uh, it was an amazing. Yeah, it's good to be here, good to be back at the top of the sport, and uh, yeah, it's super satisfying race, and I'm really happy with that. Well, and you you had a couple wins. You've had a good season so far. Yeah, it's uh, it's been an all right season. Um, obviously, Singapore was very hot for me, and these conditions are perfect. Did you get there though? I got fifth. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so but I knew I was more looking forward to a place like this. But yeah, it was uh, yeah, really enjoyed that. Congratulations! Thank so you. great to see you racing well. Amazing, appreciate it so much, Kyle Smith. So Rico, have you had a race like that where you were together for so long during the run? Yeah, I had a race in Lahti and the World Champs. There was also a good run, and now yeah, we came from the bike in the seventh group, I think, and then I felt quite good after a tough bike course and also high watts, but felt good, and then. Yeah, um, Kyle was a little bit away, 10-15 seconds, and Martin closed the gap very fast, and I could close the gap in the second loop, and then we were together. And yeah, then it was more tactical. The last loop, yeah, was easy, and then the, the sprint last 1k. I think it was around three three minutes or under three minutes, so very fast. And then the end, it was grass, a little bit slippery, <laughs> but then yeah, it was just a sprint finish. So. I, I can be uh, yeah, satisfied with the, my third place. <laughs> Love it. Congratulations. Great race today. Thank you. Thank you. Right.